to normalize or not to normalize? That is the question. And what got me thinking about that question is a video I put out just today talking about how we can improve the dynamics of our audio just to create a better listening experience for our viewers. And somebody had a great comment on the video. They said, well, hey, can I just normalize my audio? Isn't that the same thing as working with the dynamics that you're doing in this video? And the answer is no. Normalizing your audio is not working with your dynamics at all. And to say it best, I think I should just tell you exactly what the DaVinci Resolve manual says on page 3668. It says this, the change made by the normalize audio volume command is only a volume adjustment. No dynamics are applied. So the result of using this command is that the loudest parts of each clip are going to match one another at the target level. So that's directly out of the manual. Now, what does that mean? Well, if we take a look in DaVinci Resolve, let's jump in there real quick. So what normalization is, in case you're not familiar with it, you come to your clip either in the edit tab or in Fairlight, you can right click on it and we have normalize audio levels. Now, when we go ahead and open that up, we've got different ways we can normalize our audio. And if we click this little drop down, you can see there's all these different uh, methods of normalizing our audio, Netflix, YouTube, Disney, all kinds of different ways to do it. So let's say, for example, I pick the YouTube one, and now it's going to show me that the target level is minus one dB TP, and the target loudness is minus 14 LUFs, or LKFS. So I can go ahead and hit normalize on here, but watch what's going to happen to my waveforms here. I'm going to hit normalize. It's going to analyze the clip. Now, it did meet those target levels that we talked about, right? But look at what we have here. The way that the waveforms look, so our louder parts of our clip right here in the beginning versus our quiet parts, the ratio is the same. It just took everything and expanded up our waveforms relative to each other. It didn't apply any dynamics. Now, if we were to use something like the compressor, for example, and just to show you kind of what it would look like here, if we did use the compressor, I'm gonna make my track a little bit bigger here so we can see it a little bit better. A compressor kind of does something that looks like this, right? It's gonna compress the louder parts, right? So I'm just gonna add some keyframes to demonstrate what the compressor is doing. So I'm gonna add a keyframes on either side of our quiet parts there. So a compressor is essentially gonna bring down the loud parts a little bit. And if you use the makeup slider in the compressor, it's gonna bring up the quiet parts, right? So what we're getting is a more even audio track here for our dialogue. So if I you know, bring that down a little bit, if I just zoom out, so now you can see our dialogue track looks a little bit more even than it originally did even though we normalized it because normalizing is only changing the volume, right? We're not adding any kind of dynamics in there. If we jump over into Fairlight real quick, Fairlight right here, I've got my clip right here and I kind of just demonstrated kind of what a compressor is doing, okay? It's not actually keyframing stuff, but if I copy this down into a new track here and I'm just gonna select my audio clip here, I'm gonna right click and say remove attributes. Then I'm gonna remove everything that's on there. We're back to normal. So when it comes to dynamics, let's say on track two here, I was gonna work with some dynamics. So I would come into my mixer, mixer right here, double click our dynamics. Now I would turn on the compressor, right? So the compressor allows me to limit the loud parts a little bit. And then by using the makeup slider right here, I can make the quiet parts a little bit louder. Grab my headphones here so we can hear the difference. So let's do this. We are gonna apply dynamics to our bottom clip right here, see how that sounds, and then compare that to the normalized clip and see how that sounds. I'm gonna mute my track number one here because we're only working with our second track currently. I'm gonna play through it. I'm gonna set my dynamics in a range that I think sounds good. I'm gonna make the quiet parts a little louder. I'm gonna make the loud parts a little bit quieter and kind of get a more balanced type of audio or dialogue from this track. So here we go. So sometimes in our videos, we talk loud like this. We set our levels based on us talking loud or our subject talking loud. But then there's times where people, maybe they're a little farther away. Maybe they just decide to talk a little bit quieter because I got to tell you something about the game that's going on here that I don't want everybody else to know about. Well, for your viewer, they may need to adjust the volume on your video. And they're a little farther away. Maybe they just decide to talk a little bit quieter because I got to tell you something about the game that's going on here that I don't want everybody else to know about. Well, for your viewer, they may need to adjust the volume on your video and you don't want them to have to do that. So we can use compression here in DaVinci Resolve to help reduce our dynamic range and make it a better listening experience. 
Okay, so there we go. Now I just edited the audio. I applied a little bit of compression, a little bit of makeup there to make the quiet parts louder. And this is the kind of result we have. So let's go back to our first clip here. I'm gonna close my dynamics window. And I'm just gonna go ahead and reset everything here. I'm gonna remove attributes, remove everything, apply. And now I'm just gonna right click and we're gonna go normalize audio levels. I'm gonna choose the YouTube standard here and see what we get. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit normalize. So now you can see everything got increased, but it's all kind of relative to each other, right? Our, our middle section here with the quieter audio didn't get any different, but let's listen to it and see how it sounds. So I'm gonna just solo out my first track here. Let's see how it sounds. So sometimes in our videos, we talk loud like this. We set our levels based on us talking loud or our subject talking loud. But then there's times where people, maybe they're a little farther away. Maybe they just decide to talk a little bit quieter because I gotta tell you something about the game that's going on here that I don't want everybody else to know about. Well, for your viewer, they may need to adjust the volume on your video and you don't want them to have to do that. So we can use compression here in DaVinci Resolve. So that's what it sounds like normalized. Now let's try it again with the Dynamics one. Let's hear that track again. I'm gonna mute the track one, solo track two. Here's how it sounds with Dynamics in and how I would adjust the levels. So sometimes in our videos, we talk loud like this. We set our levels based on us talking loud or our subject talking loud. But then there's times where people, maybe they're a little farther away. Maybe they just decide to talk a little bit quieter because I got to tell you something about the game that's going on here that I don't want everybody else to know about. Well, for your viewer, they may need to adjust the volume on your video and you don't want... So can you hear the difference there? In the first example, it normalized, yeah, but it pushed everything way up, right? So the loud parts got quite a bit louder. And yeah, we can hear the quiet parts a little bit better, but it doesn't sound as balanced as it does if you use some of the dynamics there when you combine compression with the makeup, right? And for me, if I were to uh, look at track number one here, I'm actually gonna mute my audio here. I'm gonna come back uh, and I'm gonna un unmute my track so we can just watch the meters here. But look at where track number one is versus track number two. Track number one is getting way up there. Like when I'm editing my dialogue levels, I don't want it to be that high. Now I could pick a, a, a different, um, method of normalizing and it might work a little bit better, but the technique is gonna be similar where it's gonna adjust all the volume of those clips relative to each other, right? It's not gonna make the quiet parts a little louder and make the loud parts a little quieter and kind of balance it. It's just gonna take everything and adjust it, you know, based on the, the method that you pick, whether it's the peak program, the sample program, or, you know, Netflix, Disney, whatever. Um, we can even try, looking in Resolve here, let's try a different one, normalize audio levels. If I go to, uh, let's say, Netflix, right? Now it brings everything way down, but it's all still relative to each other. So it doesn't affect the dynamics of your clip. It only affects the volume. And it says that right in the DaVinci Resolve manual. So. I think normalizing, if you don't know anything about audio, is a fine place to start. Go ahead, do it, pop it on there. It's gonna help you uh, at least get some good basic, uh, you know, levels and stuff. Um, but, you know, I would prefer myself as an audio guy to jump in there and use the dynamics a little bit. But I think it's an important distinction that normalizing is not the same as using the dynamics panel, using compression, using the makeup slider there. It's not the same thing. Can it help your audio? Absolutely, yes, it can definitely help your audio and it's a great way to get started. But if you really wanna fine tune stuff, the dynamics panel is the way to go. It just gives you more control over what that audio sounds like, adjusting your levels and just really doing it the way that you wanna do it and the way that you want your audio to sound and meeting those levels that you want to meet. So just some quick thoughts there on normalizing your audio versus using the dynamics, compression, makeup. They're different and it's important that you guys kind of understand a little bit of the difference there. So I hope this was helpful and just kind of clarifying it a little bit. Um, if you want to know more about it, let me know. If you got questions, let me know. Drop a comment down below. I'm happy to try and answer any questions that you guys might have. The other thing I did want to mention real quickly with the normalization is that you can normalize the entire track to one level or you can normalize every individual clip on the entire track. So you've got that option too to kind of set things individually or all relative to each other. But still, if you really want that, um, the, uh, the ability to fine tune things and really make it the way that you want, the way to do it is with your dynamics, using compression, using a little bit of the makeup there and just kind of balancing everything out better. So that way your viewer has a better viewing experience while they're watching your videos. All right, with that said, I am done. I am out of here, guys. I will see you in the next video. Peace.